you play for you, Mr. Modell, but he would go crazy if he heard us call him Mr. Modell because he said that's my grandfather, Mr. Modell. So you <laughs> yeah. had to call you had to call him Art. Art yeah. Modell, he gave you the opportunity at the time no one else had given a person of color that opportunity to run a franchise. Talk about your relationship with Art. Uh, you know, I could say it was uh, father-son. It was owner-GM. It was owner-player. It was, uh, and then I'm going to say some negative things too because <laughs> sometimes they wasn't as good as they thought. But, you know, but there was a trust factor that Mr. Modell had with me and that I had with him. And some of those conversations were not very easy, you know, right. of me saying this is what we need to do. Or he telling me he, we can't do that. But you know what? I really respect him as a man. The man had a great heart. It was nothing that he, he wouldn't do for his players. He nothing. loved it. You know, it's, it's, you got these corporate owners now, you know. And, but no, this was Mr. Modell's life. As a matter of fact, this office that I'm in, this is, was built for him. Right. You know, and uh, when Eric took over, he took my office and then I moved in here, you know, and I'm proud to be sitting in that man in that man's office right now. And I think that's the thing. You mentioned the, the corporate side of it because the corporate bosses are not used to being next to the, the, the workers. Well, Ozzy, uh, uh, Mr. Art looked at, like, oh, those are players. And I remember yep. he would always be on the golf cart. He'd always come out there on the golf cart and you'd be yep. sitting on the golf cart with him. And then me and me, Rod, and Hooray would come up. He's like, Ozzy, you got to get off because they can win games for me. You can't do nothing for me. So get off and let them take the golf cart. The guy, his driver would take us up to the, and come back in, and you guys would get back on the car. But he was an unbelievable man. Do you, yep. I believe, and I've had conversations with voters, that Art Modell belongs in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. He's not the only owner that's ever moved a team. There have been so no. many, and they still get no. their rightful respect. And so for some reason, he's been denied his rightful place, which is a bus in Canton, Ohio. Shannon, you're 100 percent correct, and I was on the uh, the selection crew for the uh, for the 100th anniversary, and and I had to do a presentation on Mr. Modell, you know, uh, for him to be uh, a contributor, and you know, and and I said, and I, and I said so all of those things that you said, you know, because there are other owners. Al Davis moved the, the Raiders twice, you know, and sued the NFL in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, and sued him. So th there he is. There is no doubt that Art Modell belongs in Ken. There's no doubt in my mind, you know, and I just hope that, you know, if we continue to push, that he will get there at some point, you know, and there is that faction that continue, don't want to give him his due. But when you match him up to all of the other owners that in the National Football League and what he did with TV and being the first first and only president of the league, he deserves to be in Ken. And at some that time, at some point, I hope he gets that opportunity. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button to become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we always do something before two something.